Hey, 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 what's going on, Facebook? Welcome to today's live video. And uh, I'm actually out here by my pool. For those of you who have been following the news a little bit, we had a little bit of a run-in with uh, a little hurricane, you know, having a little uh, craziness. Woke up this morning, uh, it was about 5 o'clock, and uh, holy cow, the wind was strong, man. So strong, in fact that uh, you can see here, one of our trees in the backyard got knocked down. The creek back here is overflowing, our pool is about to overflow, and we had another tree down over here. So, thank God that uh, we weren't hit that hard. Uh, super grateful for that. Uh, definitely um, saying prayers for our, uh, you know, everybody up in northern Florida. They were hit pretty hard, a lot of people without power, flooding, major flooding, all that stuff. So, you know, it's the way life is, man. Life throws you a curveball sometimes. you got to change with it and uh, go with it. But uh, I can tell you this, no matter where you are in the country, I think it's always smart to be prepared uh, and always make sure you have, um, you know, at least a week's supply of food. Um, I, you know, just throwing it out there. I know this has nothing to do with business, but uh, it's about life, too. Uh, I would recommend that you get yourself at least a week's supply of food. You can buy survival food, whatever. Uh, some of that stuff will sit for 20 years. You can have it for 20 years, but it's always a smart idea to have that. You just never know uh, what's going to happen. So just a smart thing. And um, anyway, we're good. Everything is good here where I am. Um, but Dana, anyway, like I said, keep, uh, keep people in the north in your prayers. So, okay, so what I want to talk about here today uh, while I'm out here in the muggy, uh, muggy air of Florida um, you know, this morning I posted something on, uh, on my Facebook page, and maybe you've seen it. If you haven't, I, I you know, suggest you go over there and uh, check it out, read it. Uh, but, you know, I want to ask you a question, and that is, are, are you trying to please everybody? And uh, if you are, here's what I, my answer to that and why you shouldn't be doing that. Oh, two little squirrels just ran by. Wow. Holy cow. They're, okay, anyway. <laughs> Total ADD here. Um, you know, here's why you shouldn't be trying to please everybody. You know, for years um, in my life, and I'll tell you this, one of the things that people don't know about me, I'm going to be a little, you know, a little uh, transparent here with you, be a little uh, vulnerable, I guess. Uh, one of the things that people don't know about me is I actually used to be very, very shy. Um, I was a very, very shy person. Um, you know, I was the guy that was very... I was very shy to go talk to the girls, you know, I was, uh, very, you know, very, uh, starting to rain here again. Um, you know, I was just very quiet. I didn't want to talk to uh, a lot of people. I was very, uh, uncomfortable in social situations, uh, when I'd get around a lot of people and, uh, you know, I had to, uh, recognize, uh, what that was and, and, you know, you know, through the grace of God, I'm just, you know, super grateful that I was able to come out of that shell that I was in. Why was I in that shell? You know, I was in a shell because honestly, I was trying to please everybody all the time. You know, I'm kind of the guy who doesn't like to rock the boat. At least that's the way I used to be. You know, and I am, you know, to some, uh, you know, to some degree today, you know, I, I, my goal isn't to go out there and offend a lot of people. But my goal is also to keep pursuing my goal and pursuing my dream and be who I am and share what I love and share who I am and what I do. And if some people don't like that along the way, well, it's not my problem. <laughs> you see? And uh, I used to not think like that. I used to not think like that. I used to be very shy, like I said, very timid. Uh, I wasn't getting me up on stage in front of hundreds and thousands of people uh, never would have happened. You know, just recently, a couple weeks back at the Live the Dream event with MLSP in Austin, Texas, spoke in front of a crowd of there's at least 600, maybe 600 people there, 650 people, somewhere around that. And, uh, you know, it's funny, as I'm getting ready to go out on stage, I'm standing back there, and I'm thinking to myself, I got my slides, you know, and I was thinking to myself, I'm like, wow, I am not nervous in the slightest. Like, I wasn't even... Didn't even think twice about it. You know, if you rewound about 15 years ago, that would have been a whole different story. You know, I'd have been totally, totally frightened to get up on stage and talk to people. 
Look, I feel like I could get up in, in, in front of a crowd of 100,000 people and I wouldn't be nervous. And why is that? I mean, how is it that you can go from one place and get to another? How can you go from one place of being so concerned about pleasing everybody around you and get to a point where, you know, it's not that you don't value other people's opinions. Let me just, you know, let me make that clear. I do value opinions. I do value feedback and I value constructive feedback or constructive criticism. I very, I find that very valuable. Okay. But what I do know is that I don't care when I know I'm on a path going somewhere and I know that path is good and I know that it's aligned with my ethics, my morals, it's, it's aligned with where I'm going and I know that what I'm doing has the ability to help a lot of people. I get there's going to be detractors. There's going to be people that will hate what you're doing. But the truth is, is that when I know that I'm on that path and they're throwing their stuff, oh, why don't you do this? Why don't you get a job? Why don't you that? Why don't you blah, blah, blah? When I know that I'm on that path, all it is is just chatter. That's it. That's it. It doesn't bother me. Why? Because I know where I'm going. I know who I'm taking with me. I know what I'm doing. I know how, how committed I am to helping people. So my message to you this morning, while it's very, very simple, is I want you to ask yourself, are you, wor- are you trying to please people? Because I'll tell you, for, the, for many years, this was something that held me back in a huge, huge way. I spent years trying to, you know, not, you know, I didn't want to, I didn't want to upset people. Uh, I, I, you know, I, I, uh. I would always do things very uh, timidly, and when, when I did it timidly, nobody wanted to follow me. Nobody wanted to. Why? Because nobody wants to follow a timid person. You know, it's interesting. Um, I, uh, I was checking out an email this morning that I received, and uh, it talked about a, sur- a recent survey that this, this gentleman had done with his email list, and his his question to his list, his buyers, the people who buy his products and services, and uh, his customers, his clients, he sent out a survey to them. And he asked them, very simple, why do you buy from me? I want to know, what is your reasoning for buying from me? And the, what was interesting is he got all kinds of different answers. Well, you're real, uh, your products are awesome, you, you do a great job explaining, you're a great teacher, you're this, you're that, uh, you're, I, I, you know, just giving all these things. And he said, you know, basically it was, he got down to while the products and stuff were great, when he read through the bulk of the, the, the thing, based on the comments that he wrote, what you can tell is the underlying theme, okay? And this guy, he's huge, you know, he's, he makes a lot of money in online marketing and the underlying theme to every compliment that he got, every comment was, you this, you that, you're a great teacher, you do this, you do that, your products are great, your products are informative. What is it that they were really sold on? Him. They were sold on him. It wasn't that, you know, uh, his product was revolutionary and it might have been. You know, maybe he tapped into something that really taught something great. But I can tell you right now, your biggest product, the biggest product that you have is you. That's your biggest product. People are going to be sold on you before they're sold on anything else. So you got to ask yourself, are you working to please other people? Or are you on a path going down where you know you need to go? And then as you have that vision, you know what happens? People will fall in behind you because people want to follow people that have a vision. People want to have, they want to follow people that are confident in where they're going. You know, if I was to get up and uh, try to, you know, sell something and I was not real confident about, in, you know, the value of that product, that comes through in, in, your, in your voice. It comes through in, in who you are. 
People can read it. People can smell that stuff, man. They smell it. They'll smell it, you know. They're like, yeah, something ain't right here. You know, they can smell. Literally, I don't mean literally, but they can. They just know something isn't there. If you're not fully sold out on what it is you're offering, people, people aren't going to buy from you. So you got to ask yourself this. Is your product you? To answer that question, yes, that is the product. You might be sold out on the fact that you have one of the best products in the world. But what's going to make them buy from you as opposed to the other guy who's selling the exact same product? Why, are they, why would they buy from you and not from him or her? That's what you got to ask yourself. What's, what is it that's going to keep you from moving forward? What is it that's going to make people want to buy from you? I can give you the straight up real quick answer. It's about getting better. It's about becoming who you are. It's about stepping into the calling that you have on your life. You know, if you read the post that I posted earlier, one of the things that I put in there was that when God gives you a calling, you don't question it, you just do it. And I truly believe that we were not put here, we were not created to blend in, my friends. Okay, you were not created to blend in. You were created to stand out. That's why, that's who you are. You're meant to stand out. You're not meant to blend in with the crowd. You're here, you know, you, you tap into all of these, uh, wow, my pool's going a little crazy. <laughs> Uh-oh, the, the filter just kicked on. That's what's going on. Okay. I, th- I thought it was starting to attack me or something. But here's the thing. You know, really, you, you were not meant to, to, to just, you know, blend in with everybody else. You're here today because you want to learn something. I'm just telling you, from all the years that I've been doing this business, there's one thing I learned that was more valuable than any other thing. And that was when I started to work on myself and get over my own fears and get over my own insecurities. Because once I started getting over my own insecurities and I just stepped into who I am and going out there and projecting what God called me to be, guess what? That radiance starts giving off. It gives off an aroma. Not not a physical aroma, but it gives off an aroma uh, uh, that, that people are drawn to. Not because I'm anything great. I'm not, I'm not sitting here, I'm not here to toot my own horn. I'm just saying I'm confident in what I do. I'm confident in the direction that I'm going. And my goal is to bring people along with me. I'll go. I'll go by myself if I have to. But it's a lot funner bringing people along. I can tell you that. It's a lot funner. I mean, I, I love doing what I do. I love making a lot of money. I love helping people. I, I, to me, making money is nothing but an indicator of the amount of Im- people that I've impacted. That's all it is. Money is not my number one. That's not my number one thing in life. Honestly, if I didn't have any money right now and I could have the knowledge that I have, I could go back and make it over and over again. The point is, you got to step into what you've been called to do. Why are you here? Only you can answer that. Why are you here? I know my purpose. Maybe one day when you're ready, I'll share it with you. All right? But the point is, stop trying to please everybody, okay? Do other people pay your bills? That's my question for you. When people pay your bills, when they actually are paying your mortgage, when they're actually paying your rent, I'm going to step in here, it's starting to rain again. When people are actually paying your rent, when they're paying your light bill, your electric bill, all that stuff, then you might let them have a little say in your life. Not much, but a little. But until that time, if you're responsible for what you do, and you're responsible for the roof over your head, then what do you care what they think? If you know you're on the right path, that's what matters. So guys, I hope you, uh, you get some benefit from this morning. I hope that uh, helps you a little bit. Step out of the shell. Quit worrying about what other people think. Go out there. Make an impact. You were meant to stand out, my friends. You were meant to stand out. If you didn't read that post on my, my, my fan page, go to facebook.com slash success with Mark. Go over there and check it out. Just read it. You know, um, read it, 
Give it a little like. If you get benefit from it, share it. There's no link in it, anything like that. Just share it with somebody. Tag a friend. This is a message more and more people need to hear. It's that important. All right? See, I believe, and I'm going I'm to end it with this. You want to know why in our society right now today, so many people get offended by little things? So many people get offended by stupid, insignificant things. You want to know why? Because they lack confidence. That's why. They lack confidence. If you, if, if, if you have confidence in something, why would you care what other people think? What does it matter? Who cares? I could care less what you say. You call me an idiot? Okay, great, thank you. I'm on my way. But that's what it comes down to. When people get offended, it's because they lack confidence in that area. When you're confident, nothing can shake you. Nothing. I don't know about you, but that's a piece that can't be, can't be uh, duplicated, man. Can't be duplicated. I hope you guys got value from this. If you did, share it around. Send it in a, in a message. You know, click like, click hearts. Share it with somebody. Tag somebody. Uh, I don't know, but I'm, I'm, I'm more than ever determined to impact more and more people. I am more determined today to help people step out of the shell that they're in and step into the greatness with which they've been called uh, to be in this life. Because honestly, this life is just too short. And uh, it's our job to go out there and impact people. All right? You've got the vehicle. You've got the ability. You can do it. I love you. I appreciate you. And uh, comment below. Let me know. Let me know what you think. Let me know if this helped you. Let me know if this uh, had an impact on you. Because if it did, I want to know about it. All right? Love you guys. We'll see you back here on Monday at noon Eastern time, Monday through Friday. Keep your eyes open. Listen, uh, because of the hurricane last night, we had to move our 90-day uh, game plan uh, webinar for my Video Marketing Insiders to Tuesday. We're going to do that at 9 o'clock. So if you want to check that out, you want to be a part of it, if you're not a part of my Video Marketing Insiders Club, I recommend you hop on it. Uh, we're going to be raising the price here soon. No question about it. Uh, go to markharbor.com slash VMI. MarkHarbor.com slash VMI. You can check it out if you want to get started. Uh, also, next week on Thursday, I'm going to be doing a webinar, and I'm going to teach you one of the key things that allows leaders to go out there and make tens of thousands of dollars in, in literally with one thing, okay? I'm going to show you why leaders can command sales uh, in literally a very short period of time. So you want to keep your album for that too. We're going to do that Thursday night, all right? I love you. You're awesome. We will see you on Monday. Bye-bye.